Ileana. Good evening. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, my dear? Nice to Hi. see you. Good to see you too, teacher. So, how was the vacation? I was checking out your message, but please tell me, how was it? Well, very different. A very different vacations. Really? Yeah. Would you mind to explain me how so? Well, like I, I wrote in, in, in the paragraph, uh, well, I, from Monday to Tuesday, I work at the office. I have and to work. I have to work. At the office. At the office. Uh, Wednesday, I made home office. Okay. So I didn't, I didn't. I, I didn't went to the to the office. Then Thursday, Thursday, right? Yeah, yeah. Thursday. I went to the uh, hospital Rosales. Yes. Yep. So, uh, uh, to a blood donation because okay. one of my friends is going to have surgery at the end of the month. So I have this like. Ouch. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah. But everything is okay with with this. It's just a little um I don't know how to say it. Inflammado. Swollen. Could you write it? Yeah, sure. Let me okay, go say this. Swollen. There you go. Okay, swollen. Okay, it's just a little bit swollen. But then after that, Thursday, I just stay at home with my dad and my siblings. Then I I have this trip to Guatemala that I told you last week. So we arrived uh, in Guatemala at 8 a.m. Okay. And had breakfast in San Martin. It was delicious. Really? Yeah. It was. What did very, you have for breakfast? Eh, I don't know how to say it. Where was escondidos? What's that? Would you mind explaining to me what it's delicious about? Like two eggs inside of a bread, a big bread with a with that had a hole in the middle. So they put these two eggs like inside in the, of the bread. Yeah. So those are hidden eggs. Yeah. Like hidden eggs. Is that right? Hidden yeah. eggs. Hidden eggs, yeah. It with a um, I don't know. A, the dish had a sauce, but I can't remember the name of the sauce like a combination of, I don't know, mushrooms and like Alfredo, I think. Okay. But it was very delicious, very, very delicious. Okay, just one little thing that I want you to, to fix. Hidden, yes. hidden. Hidden. Yeah, not hidden, hidden. Hidden. Yeah. And it, it's, is this the correct? The Age, yeah, like that. Perfect. Hidden. Okay. Hidden. Yeah. Hidden. Hidden. Okay. So after breakfast, uh, we went to Arc, well, Arco de Santa Catalina. Uh, we took some pictures and some videos. And after that, we went to El Cerro de la Cruz. The view was very, very, very beautiful. And well, after after that, uh, we went to Cayala City to have lunch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And just uh, been there, taking photos uh, with my dad, my siblings, and well, all the, with the whole family. And then we arrived. The Salvador 
well, at home, like 9 p.m. Yeah, 9, 9, 9 p.m. Around 9 p.m. And well, I just came to my I'm house. Asleep. Yeah, I felt very tired, actually. Yeah, very, very imagine. tired. Just changed my clothes, washed my face, and jumped to my bed and fell asleep <laughs> because the wedding was yeah, starting. You have, you have that sad situation. Yeah. <laughs> Not that this, not that this sad, but, but I'm yeah, kidding, tired. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, at the and end just, of the class, I work... don't, I'm sorry, Liliana, at the end of yep. the class, don't forget that we are going to check a little, some details on your, on your message, okay? Okay, okay. So, and the well, wedding. Yeah, the wedding, I wore my green dress. Okay. <laughs> I wore my green oh, dress. Oh, you always, you owe the class the pictures. We were expecting the pictures. Expecting the I, I, I didn't know. I just have some pictures with my dad. But well, I wore the dress with a black heels. At the end, I I didn't I, I didn't boat boat. I didn't boat. Yeah. New no, heels. I didn't buy. I didn't, I didn't buy, buy because I I used didn't right. Yeah. So the verb is isn't. It's in present, present. because you got the auxiliary for the simple past. Okay. So I didn't buy new heels. No, I just wore some heels that, that I, I have. So, but I think that looked nice. And well, the wedding started early, actually at noon. So the party and then around nine, nine o'clock. The party ended at nine? Yeah. Too early. Yeah, because it started early at noon. Yeah. So. Weddings, they must know, end the, the parties at midnight. <laughs> but not this party. But was a, a beautiful wedding. Oh, that's great. Yeah, the whole place was full of flowers and very, very beautiful details. I really love all the, dec the decoration was very beautiful. And well, um, Sunday, yesterday, I just stayed home. I felt very, very tired. I just I stayed home and, and rest with my mom, my dad and my siblings and just stay in bed, clean my ha the house a little bit. And well, after that, just rest. And we ate pupusas, <laughs> dinner, and, you know, but that was my vacation. Okay, cool. Thank you. And welcome. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Jose Osmin Rivas. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, doing great. Thanks for asking. So tell me, what about you? How was the weekend, the vacation for you? <laughs> I didn't take vacation, so okay. I worked. Yeah, basically they change my day off. I rest on Thursday and Friday. So basically on my weekend, so I work. But I think that it was really good because on Saturday I went to the short. So I am in the court. How to say court? Court. Okay, okay, look. Uh... The, the, the pronunciation of that is fire. Fire. A second. Sure. Ouch, this hurt. It was my cell phone. Oh, it's okay. So remember, fire, fire. Fire. Yeah, because the, 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 the word is this one. Okay. Yes. Fire. Oh, really? I don't know, but I, I, I always forget that pronunciation. pronunciation so, but it's yeah. It's a word that we don't use regularly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but I went to the, the choir, choir. So, because I am in a, basically in the band. Okay. Of the church. Yeah. So, I was on 
on the Vigilia, I think. So, yeah. Oh, nice. So you yeah. were busy. Yeah, but it's really, it was really good. So because I failed, so that activity, so it was really nice. But the, the thing is that uh, the next day was uh, like kind of stressful and also tired because I are, I come back to my house around 7 a.m. And then, so I start my shift around 10 a.m. So like I rest for three hours. Okay. It's a tired day. Vigil, remember this word, vigil, vigil. Vigil, uh, vigil. okay, vigilia, right? Yep. Video. Exactly. Okay. But I think that was really nice. Oh, so just Saturday, that, but Sunday that, so was not good. It's good that you can do stuff that you enjoy. Yeah, Sunday, yeah. of course, you were like sleepy. Well, you were sleepless and you were like a little bit tired and imagine and having to work. Oh, terrible. Yeah, really terrible. Yeah, but you know, that's part of the game. What can we do? Yeah, that's right. Let's see, let's see. Thank you very much, Jasmine, and welcome. Welcome. Thanks. Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Okay, let's see. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Sorry, guys. Just checking out that, you know, up to this moment, I have received just two homeworks. Ileana sent somebody else. And do you remember, guys, that you were supposed <laughs> to write down a paragraph telling me about your vacation? So tell me, Ana Claudia, what about yours? What about the one who have a vacation? <laughs> we had had vacation. Well, you had a vacation from my class. <laughs> so no excuse. Uh, okay, my partner will be studying like <laughs> the topic will be, I didn't connect <laughs> quickly. Mm -hmm. I'm joking. I'm kidding. So how okay, was well, it for you? How was the well, week? Uh, I was working the same as Jose. We worked for the same company, but uh, they didn't switch my my days off because I work from Monday through Friday. And as you know, U.S. Uh, Easter is like uh, Fridays is a normal day. They do not close. Business is business. So uh, uh, we were working normally. Uh, the only things that happens to me during the week is that now our company rebrand the name. So we have a different name and from one day to another, from Monday to Tuesday, they switch all our emails, everything with the new rebranding, they upgraded. And the issue is that with my last name, I always been facing difficulties because they spell it without the B. They use my second last name, Velasquez. I always had issues and I wasn't able to work in my tools like two days and a half. And But at the same time, I was there in front of my computer waiting, submitting tickets to ID. It was so, so hard. But at the same time, during this week, I had one-on-one -on -one with the client. This is a an account where the client talks to us. <laughs> so directly, and I had a one-on-one, -on -one. you just don't imagine how I remember every word you say to me, how to say this, this, and this. My God, it was uh, a, a, I hope it a, worked. a great it experience. Worked for you. Yes, I remember that communing, I remember, and there's so all those words that I was, I've been fighting with. <laughs> 
and, and, and they are, some of them, they are in Pakistan, some others are in US, but they speak very well English. And as you mentioned before, they learn from the UK. So it's different. Um, and it was amazing. We had some time to talk, just the two of us. And it was like 45 minutes. It was a one-on-one. -on -one. It was like uh, <laughs> staring at me at the beginning. Well, I was kind of nervous, but at the end it was, it was good. And um, until today, my tools are working properly and they find out that in the whole organization, I have they like, found out. They found out, I'm sorry, in all the, the organization, I had like five different profiles. That was the issue why in the past, I always had difficulties to get documentations or getting invited. They fix and just left, uh, fix it and left just one profile. It was uh, a very, uh, how can I tell you? It was uh, not an easy week. It was, how was it? Trabajosa, que fue? Hectic, complicated, busy. Oh, yeah, busy, complicated, uh huh? But it was okay at the end. Mm -hmm. It was a busy, very busy week because with the rebranding, many things change. Well, the good thing is that you didn't have to, to I mean, you were a little bit less stressed because you could like rest the whole night. You didn't have. The oh time. yes, yes. But the best part of the during the week it was that the one on one I had with the client. Yeah, I was course. able to 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 maintain the conversation, and and I always remember that you say that depending on the words we are using, they will be going up and up and up using, and that's true. <laughs> Yeah, I got and I try, yes, and I try to stay in a level that I felt comfortable. And I did it at the end. It was it was a very, very good experience. Okay. Now just a little thing. Mm -hmm. The pronunciation is maintain. 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 Okay. Maintain. Okay. Teacher, I heard also I always Dubbing about the other word maintenance, I guess they say maintenance. maintenance. Uh -huh. Okay, well, yeah, it depends. I'm sorry, on I who... almost asked you for those <laughs> tricky words. No, 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 no problem. It's because I heard maintenance and also I heard maintenance. Hold on. It depends. Some people will say maintenance, maintenance, ah. maintenance. The problem is that uh, this is the problem of, of online teaching, okay? That uh, I mean, uh, my other microphone oh, broke down. So this one is the one from the camera. You cannot like completely listen, but it's like this. Maintenance, hold on. I can hear you very well. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Maintenance, maintenance. Okay. Okay. Now the other one, maintenance. Uh huh. Maintenance. Maintenance. Is the one that you wrote, right? Maintenance. Yeah. Maintenance. No, maintenance. Both pronunciations, the same word, depending on who's pronouncing it. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. But phonetically, if we go to the Phonics. Mm -hmm. uh, phonetically, the proper proper pronunciation is maintenance. 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 Okay. Yeah. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. Maintenance. Yeah, like that. Okay. Thank That's you. according to the phonetics. Oh, okay. Got it. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Always glad to help. And you know, those little words also help the rest of the class. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ana Claudia, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice teacher. talking to you. <laughs> welcome. And before I move on, because I always keep on forgetting, why don't we get the attendance right now? Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ada, what you told me is already fixed because I have everything there. Okay, teacher. 
Ámbar Eli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Henry Naftali Méndez Torres. Here I am, teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present, teacher. Uh, Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Thank you. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Jasmine Montarrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Stephanie Alejandra Sanmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. And Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Did I mention you all guys? Yep. Let's go. So let's see. We still got time. Hmm. Who else is around? Who else is around? Who else? Hey, Nicolas. Hello. How are you? Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Just fine, just fine. What about you? Tell me. Well, uh, well, in my my experience, the next week is last, very interesting. Last, last, week. last, last thank you. Last week. Uh, for example, my back, my vacation were so much fun. This vacation started on Monday and ended yesterday. Uh, well, my wife and, and I visited Barra de Santiago for two days. Uh, Great. Yes, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, we, I wanted to go there actually and in the end I couldn't, but it was in my plans to go there this vacation. It's necessary, yes, teacher, it's necessary what you know this place yeah i know i know as i told you well i know i mean i have gone to barra de santiago a couple of times but uh i wanted to go again but i couldn't i mean i was quite busy so you stayed there for two days excellent yes for uh, the first day uh, we swam in the beach and the second day we kayak, kayak or kayak? Yeah, yeah we kayak. kayak. Kayak in the estuary for four hours. It was oh. perfect. It was, I can it was imagine. perfect. Yes, yeah, it's a beautiful it's, experience. Yeah, of course. My wife, for my wife, is is an experience uh, perfect for, for, for her. For her. Yeah. Uh, the food was very good, fish, stream, cocktail, seafoods, uh, cocktails, seafood soup. Uh, the third day, we visited a hotel in Apaneca. We stayed uh, one day. One day, okay. yes. Uh, the Wednesday- oh, you, you really have fun there as well, week. Oh, of course, of course. It's, it's necessary for my, my stress food. Uh, is, is necessary to reduce my stress food. And uh, Wednesday, for example, we get home in the afternoon and, uh, and Thursday and Thursday, we, we traveled to Los Planes in Chalatenang uh, okay. for, for uh, Thursday, Friday, no, no. Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, and and yesterday, uh, Sunday, yeah. uh, yesterday, Sunday, 
Yes, in, in, in Los Planes, Chalatenango. We arrived yesterday in the afternoon. I am, we are tired. We are tired today. I can uh, imagine. Yeah, yes. Because it's very interesting, the, the, the spectacular, the moon, the moon in the night is spectacular in this, in this place. You and solitude. Sorry, teacher, I know. Quiet, when it's very quiet. I like that. Okay, well, thank you, Nicolas. Interesting. Perfect. Thank experience. you, teacher. Thank you. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Marcos, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? What about you? Tell me. Oh, teacher, okay. Um, my holy, my vacation was a little bit sad because uh -huh. I had to I had to work uh, on Tuesday and Friday, but I I didn't have to work, but I I didn't knew it, <laughs> so I worked two days for free. <laughs> Oh yeah. really? Nobody, nobody told me that. Uh, sometimes uh, it's required, and uh, the boss tell us that it's required that at least one stay for any emergency. But this time, uh, nobody told me that I had to to stay. So I just, uh, I don't, I didn't ask anybody, and, and nobody told me. That so I stay working these two that two days and and the weekend so bad. I rest a, a little bit but um uh, I I would like to rest a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, but yeah. What can we do? You know, it's the job, right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that that thing happens. So, um, anyway, <laughs> but at least I can I, I I could rest a little bit. This yeah, today. on the weekend. And yeah, on the weekend. Um, I didn't go. Oh yeah, I I went to to one place in. Um, La Carretera Panoramica. Oh, really? Where? Uh, it's a place called La Casona, in front of all the department of La Paz. Oh, I yeah, beautiful, right? Landscape. Yeah, yeah, yeah beautiful. Uh, Excellent. I, Excellent view. We, yeah, yeah, we, we, go, we went in that place in Sunday. Sunday by the afternoon. So we stayed uh, like two hours drinking coffee and sharing a good time with my family. So it was very pleasure to be there. And enjoy the landscape and the weather. It was very, okay. very pleasure. Yeah, at least I, I, I could hang out with my family uh, for a while. <laughs> yeah. So we are ready once again to, to another week. Well, hear you, yeah, yeah, but now it's fixed. Thank you very much, Marcus. Appreciate it. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thanks.
Hello, hello. Oh, now it is fixed. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Mm -hmm. Amber, hello, Amber. What about you? Tell me, what did you do this last week? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank hello. you for asking. Tell me, how was the week for you? My week was relaxed because I I only I only was in my house. And yesterday I went to my primo is cousin, right? Cousin, yeah, cousin. Yes. Yesterday I went to cousin's house with my family and spend a good time with them. Excellent. That's great. Yes. So and the rest of the week working. No, uh, from Thursday to Sunday I I have vacation, but I I didn't go out in any place. I, I only went to my cousin's house yesterday. Okay, so you decided to spend the time at home? Yes. Uh, resting is good. Sometimes we forget how important it is for us to rest, right? Yes, exactly. I prefer to go out uh, in another date because in the holidays is very full. Oh yeah, some places were packed. Some places were horrible. I mean, there was a lot of people. Yes, um, sometimes I, I think with the weather, I need to <laughs> swim in on the pool, but I prefer uh, in another date. Maybe yeah. the next month I I will go to, um, to the beach. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I mean, you take uh, and if you like it like that, when it's quiet, it's better not to go and on these dates because nowadays, I mean, this last week, everywhere was packed. Some places were terrible, I mean, horrible. Yes. Places. Yes, exactly. Amber, welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Still got time? Yeah, still got time for a couple of you. Jacqueline, hello, Jacqueline, how are you? Very nice teacher, thank you. Thanks for asking. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you, you have vacation. Yes, I have vacation from Monday 11th. I have okay. a whole week. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, I stayed at home. I many uh, doing many chores in my house. Also, I helped to my children to, to do many homeworks that they have. Uh, they have, sorry. Um, on Wednesday, we went to Suchitoto. Okay. To visit many relatives. Oh, you got uh, relatives in Suchitoto? Yes. Mm. I have some relatives in Suchitoto. Yes, I don't like the that place a lot, but um, I don't like it's, the weather. It's hot. The, <laughs> the weather, yeah. Also, teacher, I consider that that place is a little bored for me. Um, but in these days, we when did you go to Suchitoto? Uh, sorry. When did you go? Which day? I, I went, we went to, from Wednesday to Friday. Oh, I was there yes. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we returned on Saturday. 
and we visit um, Suchitlan Lake. We also travel to in the ferry to okay. Chalatenango, but just uh, had uh, two hours to to stay there and we returned to oh. Suchitoto. We also had the opportunity to for the religious activities on Thursday and Friday. And on the weekend, teacher, I rest. I was resting and, and that was, uh, that were my vacations. Those and were? Those were, yeah. I cook some fish, some uh, traditional food <laughs> to enjoy. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. And well, tomorrow I will go to my work. And I, for me, was uh, very relaxed my vacation. Okay, well, nice, nice. Glad to hear it. Thank you very much and welcome. Thanks for asking, teacher. Let's see, um, Heidi. Hello, Heidi. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, um, How's everything? Everything's going Tell great. Me. You told me you were going to sleep. Tell me, how <laughs> long did you sleep during vacation? A lot. I slept a lot. I went to bed early and woke up late. And, and, and I took lots of naps. That's nice. You didn't go out at all? <laughs> Yeah, we went to to Ilopango Lake. Oh, nice. A place called ¿cómo se llama? Ilopango, uh, Santa Cruz Cafe. Very oh, nice really? place. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Cafe Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. You went for breakfast, right? Yeah, we went for yeah, breakfast. I was checking the your homework. Work. Are you read the homework? Yeah. I got ah, it okay. right in front of me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's nice. I mean, the fact that you could rest is something very important, right? I really need it these days. Yeah, I can imagine. Because, I mean, sometimes I, we just focus on working and working, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. And tell me, how did you feel today going back to work? <laughs> I didn't want to go back. <laughs> and nobody, nobody does actually. In my case, it's tomorrow. So, ah. That just the day before we we went for vacations. Mm -hmm. Uh, this auditor came to my branch. Oh, really? He started the evaluation. Mm -hmm. How did it go? I, it will take about two weeks. Oh, to really? End. Yeah. So right now you are, well, everybody there is under a lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, even, even if you know that you are doing things correctly, it's it's extra stress, right? Yeah, it's that they have to find something, even though if you are very ordered, they have to find something. Yeah, been there, done that. I know. I remember when when I used to be evaluated by the ESO. I hated that thing. Hated <laughs> because they used to audit everything, and I miss. I mean, I had to. In my case, just just what I did, I used to spend like one day alone with the other guy, just explaining everything step by step and with all the paperwork. Man, mm -hmm. it's, it's a stressful. It's actually, it is a stressful. Yeah, and, an as you say, and as you say, you, you have the normal stress, but this is an extra. Yeah, and as you say, uh, at the end, they always try to find something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but well, you know, it's part of the game, right? Right. 
Heidi, welcome. Nice to have Thank you, you here. Teacher. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Still got time for one more. Let's see who's gonna be. Hey, Maria Alejandra, what about you? You've been too quiet lately. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I Tell have. Me, what about I you? Have chance all the week. <laughs> um, really? I uh, I start my vacation the um, the Thursday. I don't remember the hand the Thursday when I have a uh, my day off, and I return to the work uh, today. Okay, and what did you do the whole vacation? <laughs> I see a father. Tell me, where did you go to eat? Um, I went to the San Martin Pizza Hut. Okay. Pollo con pero. Gosh. Ah. I thought, ah, La Casona in the say that Marcos, like this, or Marcos, I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh -huh, San Martin, then, and only that. <laughs> only that? Oh my gosh. You were eating it up. You were eating out a lot. Uh, the reason is when I saw my father in the morning, uh, I took a uh, uh, breakfast and stay out for different restaurants, but um, yes, indeed, uh, the last week I think that I bought a lot of junk food, but um, stay in a bus to move and I don't have a lot of food in, in the house. Um, it's complicated because I, I mean, need you moved um, already, right? And yes, I tried to move this weekend. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I don't prepare anything. <laughs> oh, you're gonna move this coming weekend? I try to move, um, but I don't know all depends that I found a truck or a camion yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. to work on Sunday and move all my uh, all your stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because I complicate with the internet to move and I don't know what day the Tigo to to move for the other house, but I try to uh, ask for a Thursday in my day off. And okay. maybe uh, the next week I stay in the other house and stay in the apartment uh, different days. Maybe if I not complete all the all move all all on this weekend. Okay, interesting. Well, let's hope everything comes out okay for you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Well, guys, thank you and welcome to all of you. There's Susana. Roxana, let's see who else. Uh, Ramon, Fernando, Francisco. Uh, I hope all of you have enjoyed your vacation. Let's see. Well, to remind you that this is going to be our last week from this module. Uh, this is a heavy week for us because if you remember on Wednesday, you're going to to receive the email with the encuesta de satisfacción. Remember that you don't fill that in until the last day of class with me, okay? 
that's a step that we follow up together. And let's see something else. Uh, oh, besides that, guys, I'm checking the, the platform and there's some of you, well, I got one of you who has worked just, no, two of you who have just finished section one. And remember that for this week, for Friday, we need to have finished section one, two, three, four, midterm and final exam. That's a lot of work because I need to close the, 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 the group on Friday at midnight. That's my deadline to close the group. So uh, please make the effort. If you have any problem, let me know, I can help you. Because I know that some exercises, perhaps the platform is giving some little tricky problems. I can have access and I can help you out. Let me know if something like that happens because we have a lot of work. I mean, for the ones who are like delayed that are still in section two and who have not finished in near term, uh, that's a lot of work, a lot of work. And please program yourself. Otherwise on the last day, it's gonna be a heavy night for you. Well, let's move on. That was the socials. Let's see, we're gonna go work with the manual tonight because we start unit number four. And unit number four talks about trends in e-commerce, okay? Now, just give me a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, we are here. The conversation. Elsa wants to purchase a book online, but she's having trouble to check out. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it with a partner. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Okay, guys, I repeat. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the app store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Okay, guys, let me get this and I'll send you to practice in small groups. Let me just check a little something here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, groups are ready. Please guys jump in. I'll send you the screenshot of the conversation also in a second. Chase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember enter my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I'll better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers made checkout too complicated for the for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their web website. Again? Okay, I start. Mm -hmm. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed, typed in but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have I to do it twice? Huh? Type, type, add, type, type him, okay. Okay, complete uh, the purchase, okay. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out to complicate for the end user. I will leave some feedback in their website. Okay. Okay, I start. Okay. Alex, I'm trying to push uh, to push a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home. You need to add your home address to your account, or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it? Twice, I remember entering my home address before. This is some complete forward. Forget, forget about it. I better go the the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. I guess. It looks like the software developers made the may check out too complicated for the end user. I will leave some feedback in their website. Uh, I let me start. I'm going to be Elsa. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to be Elsa. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your, account, to your account, or you won't be able to complete the pushers. 
Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so Hello, just me and you. Yeah, where's Maria Alejandra? She stayed in the, in the group. Yeah, it's just that some of you come, some of you, the system kicks you out. Yeah, that happens to me before. Let's see, let's see, but everybody's coming back in a few seconds now. Okay, let's see. Who's gonna be first? I'll be the first one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, the first ones today is gonna be, hmm, am I missing someone? Yeah. wondering okay let's see eliana you're gonna be the first one with nicholas okay i start uh, okay no nicholas start please sorry Elena. okay don't worry alex i'm training to purchase a book from the app store but i'm not sure i'm getting this right let me see well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do, to do it twice? I remember in turning my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Perfect. Thank you both of you guys. Marcos and Heidi. Marcos, you start, please. Okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from App Store. From App Store. But I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bulk bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. I'll leave some feedback in their website. Okay, perfect. I leave some feedback in their website. Excellent. Now, Roxana and Ana Claudia. Roxana, you start. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Alex, I'm trying to put us a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account, or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget it, forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. I guess 
It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end user. I will leave some feedback in their website. Perfect, thank you. Just remember, typed, typed, typed. Typed, okay, typed perfect. in. Yeah, typed in. Okay. Now, Susana and Maria Alejandra. Susana, you start. Susana. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Alex, I am trying to purchase a book from the APP store, but I'm not sure I getting this, this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account, or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's, that's good, I guess. It looks like the software developer may check out to complicate for the end user. I will leave to leave some feedback in their in their website. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes. Let's see App Store, Susanna. App Store. Okay. App Store. Yes. Now let's see, Fernando, Fernando and Jacqueline. Jacqueline, you will start. Okay, teacher. Fernando, I'm trying to purchase a book from the app store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the, book sh go the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It's like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And thank you very much. Just give me a second. Just a second, guys. I'm doing something to Nicholas. Can you go, Nicholas? Sorry, guys. Thank you very much. Fernando and Jacqueline, very well done. Francisco and Jose Osmin, please. You ready, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. Francisco, you start. Okay, teacher. Alex, I am trying to purchase a book from the app store, but I'm not sure I am getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the, the credit card number is already typing, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do this twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. I guess it's, it looks like the software develop, developers 
make checkout too complicated for the end user. I will leave some feedback in their website. Okay, very well done. Ramon and Amber, you are last, guys. Please, Amber, would you mind uh, you start? Okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Okay, let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you want to be you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go. I better go to the bookshop and get a cycle copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developer may check out too complicated for the end user. I will leave some feedback in their website. Okay, very well done. Just remember, Amber, physical, physical copy. Ah, sorry, physical copy. Thank uh -huh. you. Great, thanks to you guys. Okay, next exercise. We're gonna work with the platform a lot today. Well, with the manual. Okay, thank you for the reminds. No, guys, the uh, attendance, second attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Amber Elia Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Amber Elia Alfaro, oh, I'm sorry. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalín Mendez Torres. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Jacqueline Sumara Morales de Castro. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Nicolás Atillo Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. And Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Okay, guys, thank you very much. A second. And we're here with folks. Okay, guys, next exercise. We go again to the manual, same page. Page number 33. But now we're going to work in exercise three. Fair work. Read the conversation again and answer the questions below. You're going to be working with the same people you were working before, okay? Remember, the objective here is to answer them questions, okay? So you got what is Elsa trying to do? What is the problem with the purchase? What is Elsa going to do? Remember, you can pronounce this. What is Elsa going to do? What does the eShop need to do to make their software more user-friendly? Okay, guys, in order to answer the question, I need full answers, remember, well-structured. Uh, you will have three minutes. It's a very simple exercise. Jump in into the groups, the same ones you were working before, and I'm sending you the screenshot 
right about now. Francisco, what happened? Number one is Elsa. For Elsa, it's necessary buy a, a book. Yes, yes. Um, what is Elsa she, trying to do? She's trying to purchase a book. Yeah, or you can say store. she's trying to buy a book from the app, from an app store. Okay? That's correct. Remember, okay. full sentence. Yes, Francisco, you call me? Oh, no problem, no problem. The moment uh, that you... Uh, ah, that I sent you. <laughs> yes, teacher. Uh, no sorry. problem, no problem. Okay, Great. It's like... I think that is putting the information like the address. Mm -hmm. Or be more specific about mm -hmm. what information they have, they want. They want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or explain what are the steps to purchase or just basically ask for some info mm. Mm -hmm. like just a credit card no personal information, information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like adding the, the physical address I think that is like no good for for everybody to 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 add that information because as we know, so that is like it's something that we had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. If I were um, if I were in that case or in that problem, I prefer buying a in a shop direction. Mm -hmm. No personal information, information like my address or about my job or another personal uh, information. Nowadays, uh, we, we think twice yeah. to give that information to anybody. Yeah, probably they can install them. The, sorry, uh, install money. And uh, yeah. So once you put the credit card, that are like a Fisher person. That is the correct uh, word, Fisher. Fisher. Mm -hmm. Fisher. Am I right, teacher? Fishing. Like Fisher. Uh huh, Fisher. Fishing. How do you spell that? Could you tell me, please? Hmm. I don't remember, actually. Mm -hmm. what, that is, what is the meaning in in another words or in Spanish? Fisher? I don't know the, the expression in Spanish to be honest. 
I mean, that's something that we use in in, in English, and it's uh, it's not a specific term. Mm -hmm. It's like what someone so like uh, is getting your information, right? Like trata de atrap trata de atrapar la información que que ponen, verdad? Yep. Mm -hmm. Is fishing or fisher? Fishing. Fishing. Ah, oh, fishing. Thank you. Fishing person. <laughs> I heard this uh, word in another occasion. Well, I don't remember exactly, but it's fishing, fishing person. Hey, there's Fernando here. Hey, teacher. Hello, Fernando. You home already? Yes, teacher. I, I, I am I'm home. Did you have to travel today? Yes. Oh. Yes, That's I started the way in the office. Oh. And you're going to be uh, at the traveling for good? Sorry, teacher. Are you going to be traveling for good, like every day, normal? Uh, yes. Yes. No more home in, office. Uh, I think, or I hear a rumor. <laughs> that we will start at least today at home office but it's not official so this week uh, we will work cool. all the time in the in the office yeah. but well, let's hope so because i mean home office for you is at least you don't travel commuting that long is stressful yeah it's a stressful teacher and because for for me for the distance i i need to wake up very early and i come back to home very late yeah can imagine yeah, it's complicated but i hope that the rumor will be true <laughs> and, and at least i i have uh two days at least at, at the week they mm -hmm. they help me they help me a lot with with this class for example because when i was in home it was easy to connect me yeah Hey, let's go back. It's time. Okay. okay, let's see. Question number one. Let's see, Eliana, tell me what is Elsa trying to do? Elsa is trying to uh, purchase a book from the app store. Okay, yeah, you're right. She's trying to buy a book from an app store. Excellent. Let's see, number two, what is the problem with the purchase? Uh, Fernando, tell me. Sorry, sorry, I am off my mic. Uh, the problem is the checkup is too complicated and Elsa type in her, her home address one time and the website required again okay perfect yeah another way to say it is like this look if you look in the chat i just checked for you she can she complete go. the purchase because the app requests she add her home address to her account even after she has done it okay, okay. Okay, oh, thank thing. you. Perfect. I mean, you got the idea. That's what matters. Number three, what is Elsa going to do? Let's see. Mm. Ambar, what is Elsa going to do?
Sorry. Did you answer that one? What is Elsa going to do? Is she going to buy in the app store or what is she going to do? Uh, she, she prefers to go to the bookshop. Okay, perfect. She'll go to the bookshop to get the criminal book. Excellent, thank you very much. And let's see, the last one. What does the eShop need to do to make their software more user-friendly? Mm -hmm. Heidi. Uh, they need to improve their process to make uh, the checkout easier for end users. Okay, perfect. You're completely right. They need to improve the checkout process so it is less complicated, right? Right. Thank you very much, guys. Now let's see, next exercise, because then uh, we will make one more exercise from the platform and then we go to conversation because it's always good for us to have, you know, some conversation practice. Let's see. Next activity, we go to the manual again. And, but we are gonna go to page number 34. Let me share with you. Okay, here we go. Building vocabulary. You have to match the expressions related to e-commerce to the right description, to the e-commerce, okay? E-commerce, there's a typo here, I'm sorry guys. Here is E, okay? And then you're gonna, well, you're gonna be working with partners. You've got social media platforms, mobile banking, digital purchase, digital currencies, mobile tech, ticketing, portability, ubiquity. Okay, you need to relate them, the concepts with the term we got here. And let me get it so I can share it with you in the WhatsApp group. Okay, I'll send you to the groups right about now so you can work. And I'm sharing with you the info right in this moment. So social media platforms, um, they enable, enable teacher? Is yeah, that the word? Enable. enable the development, deployment, and management of social media solutions and services. I think that's the correct. I think so. Yeah, well, I, I was telling to Maria Alejandra that I, I already did this exercise that is in the platform, but with the these answers, it's right. Hmm. 
give me just a second, we can check it. Okay, my dear, please repeat again. Which one is the one we got? Uh, the first social media platforms. I think is they enabled the development, deployment, and management of social media solutions and services. Yep, quite perfect. Right. The second, uh, number two, is mobile baking. I have this <laughs> one too. Mobile baking. Um, it refers to the use of a smartphone to perform online baking tasks. Okay, perfect. Banking, banking. Banking. Well, hmm. say that word. Banking tasks, tasks. Then number three, digital purchases. I, mm, the answer is digital purchases. Purchases for digital goods completed directly from within an e-shop. Hey, Maria Alejandra, what do you think? Do you agree, disagree? Sorry, teacher. I miss my connection in a few minutes. <laughs> and number three or yeah. number four. Uh, yeah, we're discussing the number three. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think that the pusher for digital food completely direct directly from within an e-shop. Okay, cool. Number four, digital currencies. What do you think? Okay. The degree to which an NCT can be system I think this is ubiquity. Francisco. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, 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 teacher. How are we doing? The answer number three, they enable the- Digital purchase. Digital purchase, I think, uh -huh. let me see. Digital purchase, I think, uh, Francisco- These Purchases and, and for me. digital goods completed directly from within a niche shop. Yes, yes. That's digital purchase. Exactly. Okay. And number the two, mobile one. banking was, it refers to the use of a smartphone to perform online banking tasks. You got it like that? Let me see, let me see. Number two, number two, it refers to the use of a smartphone to perform online banking tasks. Number two. Yes, I think so. Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Keep on guys. They enable the development, deployment and management of social media solutions and services. And we say that because social media, I guess, is the one, the first one, the social media is the characteristic of a service that is available just about everywhere at all time. If you want, we can review what we have. And um, six, one, seven, four, social two. media, huh? Social media? I don't say. I, I think it's the social one. media. Huh? And um, is they it the enable the development? Huh? 
they enable the development. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, is that social media? Okay. Yes, deployment and management of social media solutions and services. Mm -hmm. Social media platforms. Okay. What you got for number two? Mobile banking. And we find it in the one before the last one. It refers to the use of a smartphone to perform online banking tasks. Okay, perfect. Number three, digital purchase. Digital purchase is the first one. Ah, okay. Futures for digital good complete com di completed. Completed directly from within an e-shop. Perfect. Number okay. four, digital currencies. Uh, number four is the last one for us. Any means of payment that exists purely in electronic form. Purely, purely. Purely, purely, okay. Number five. <laughs> ah, number five. Yay. The process where, where, where by customers can obtain tickets using mobile phones. Okay, that word, I hate that word. Where it be or where by? <laughs> where by? Where by? Mobile, mobile, mobile. Mobile phones. Yeah. Mobile. Mobile, mobile. mobile. Uh. Mobile, mobile. Yeah. mobile. Yeah, like that. Like that is the correct pronunciation. Mobile. I always ah. pronounce it mobile. A lot of people pronounce it mobile. Exactly. You're mo but, but I heard better the mobile device. No, the other word is where be or where by. Whereby, whereby. Okay, whereby. Okay. So that is the number five for us. We are dealing with the number six and the number seven. Eh. Number six, we think is the second one that it says the degree to which an entity can be successfully moved from one domain to another. That for us is portability. But we are not sure. The portability? Biche? I don't know, I help you a lot. <laughs> Ay, number, number six and number seven are the ones that are mm. Roxana. Hi. And what do you think about this meaning that it says the characteristic of a service that is available just about everywhere at all times is that portability or ubiquity <laughs> mm. i'm not sure because the one we have as number seven the correct the one is number one hmm? uh, to say the portability is the grid mm -hmm. to with which an entity can be successful. Mm -hmm. Success. Move it from um, dominion to other. Okay. Yeah, maybe number seven is the characteristic of a service that is available just about everywhere at all times. Mm. Okay. Mm. Because if you are looking for a, what, a Ethernet, for example, or Wi-Fi, um, maybe the entity needs to work and give the service in whatever place. Exactly. Isn't that portability? You are lovely, guys. Hmm? You are just lovely. Let's see. Portability. 
portability, the degree to which an entity can be successfully moved yeah, from one domain to another. Correct. <laughs> okay, and the ubiquity will be the one that it says the characteristics of a service. That is number seven. It's the only one that is empty. <laughs> so, in the end, Ana Claudia, what do you like? Which pronunciation do you like? Mobile, 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 or mobile? No, mobile. I, I hear every day mobile, mobile. That's American. British mm -hmm. pronunciation is mobile. I use a lot mobile. If you heard it when I was reading, mm -hmm. my first pronunciation was mobile. Mobile. That's the British. PK team should say they say in that way mobile. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the British pronunciation is mobile. Mm -hmm. Americans, they pronounce mobile. And in Alabama, you say, you say mobile, the city. The mobile. But that's, yeah, that's like a city. With a that's a city. That's a city. Ah. You write it exactly the same way, but you pronounce it different. Mobile. That's the, 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 the okay. city. That's in Alabama. Okay. I didn't know that. Mm, good to know. Thank you. Oh, it's a beautiful place. You should go really? once. Have you been there? Me? Yeah, never, you? Never. never. <laughs> oh, comments. my God. Oh, my God. I just again, imagine... Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Roxana is a bad influence. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Everybody here, yeah. Almost. Okay, guys, let's do the exercise. Let's see how do we do with it. Here we go. Uh, let me see, I need this. Okay. Social media platforms, number one, Ambar, which one you got? Tell me. I think is they enable the development, deployment, and management of social media solutions and services. You are just perfectly right. Thank you very much, Ambar. Okay, now let's see. Francisco, what you got for number two? Okay, with this word, guys, I was explaining to your classmates that the word, this word can be pronounced mobile in British English, mobile in American English, and oh, mobile, if you are referring to a city in Alabama, it's in the, actually it's in the south by the ocean, okay? If you're referring to the city's mobile, okay? And let's see, let's see, uh, 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 who's next? Number two, mobile mobile banking. Uh, Ana Claudia, what's that? Sorry, it was enough. <laughs> okay, for uh, mobile banking, it will be a, I is the one bef, 
before the last one, it refers to the use of a smartphone to perform online banking tasks. That's just perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Number three, digital purchase. That one goes to Francisco. What you got, Francisco? Number three, digital purchase uh, is the purchase for digital goods completed directly from within an e shop. Okay, from within an e shop. Perfect. Thank you very much. Heidi, you got number four, digital currencies. Oh, that's your area. <laughs> Bye -bye. Digital currencies is the last one. Any means of payment that exists purely in electronic form. Okay, perfect. Yeah, they are on fashion right now, right? Right. Thank you, Heidi. Now let's see uh, mobile ticketing. That one goes to Eliana. What you got? Uh, mobile, mobile ticketing. The process whereby customers can obtain tickets using mobile phones. Okay, that's number five. And let's see, Mr. Rivas, what you got for number six, portability? Okay, so is the degree to which an entity can be successfully moved from one domain to another? Okay, that's number six the degree to which an entity can be successfully moved from one domain to another and the last one let's see uh, it's this of course all ubiquity please uh, ramon would you mind reading it the description Hello. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I choose the, that one. Okay, please read it. Let me see the characteristics characteristic of a service that is available just about everywhere at all times. Okay, perfect. Available, available, remember. Available. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Very well done. And let's go back. Okie dokie. Well, we still got a few minutes, so we're going to be talking, speaking. Give me just a second that I need to get everything ready. Okay, now, 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 now. Hmm. Let me see which one did I have ready for you. Okay. Today we are going to talk about the art of conversation. Okay. You know, to have a good conversation, to be very good at conversation. Ooh, for some of us, it's more difficult than for others, right? I mean, like, uh, it's easy to be good at conversations when the topic at hand is perhaps your area of expertise, but it's related to your job, or it's about experiences that you have always developed. But uh, sometimes when the situation is different when we are out of our comfort zone, right? It's kind of complicated to, to perhaps to have a conversation, to have a, an animated, you know, conversation, to be like talking freely with another person and to be actually to keep on the flow of a good conversation. So right now, the first question is this. For you, uh, 
what makes it easy to talk to someone? That's the first question, okay? And then, well, we are going to be working with three different things, okay? And they are the following ones. What makes it easy to talk to someone? Then, what traits do you look for in a conversation partner? And tell about your favorite types of conversations to have. Okay, what's your favorite conversation? What do you like to talk about? Okay. Like, in order to answer the, the, the last one, okay? Let me just elaborate here. When you tell about your favorite types of conversations, what you are actually doing is this, you are telling, what do you talk about? How do you know the other person, okay? Those questions are going to help you to answer. So I don't need you to be like directly asking and answering. I need you to have a regular conversation, okay? The first one's yes, of course, it's a conversation. What makes it easy to talk to someone? Okay, let's talk a little bit here so you can have an idea. Let's see who has some, uh, uh, uh. Heidi, tell me. You look like a very talkative person. You're easy to talk, right? Right, teacher. Okay, tell me. What makes it easy for you to talk to, to someone? I try to find similar interests. Okay. For example, like if for example, lady, in my case, um, imagine that you are trying to open a conversation with me. If I start a conversation with you, I, I'd ask you about uh, your last students or okay. what kind of students do you think it is easy to handle or to manage? And then you go, you, go, you do follow up questions. Exactly. For example, okay, how then, you do to, to keep everyone paying attention. Okay, then tell me what traits do you look for in a conversation partner? What, sorry? What traits? Traits? Um, imagine What's that you're saying like, uh, uh, like rasgos, characteristics, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, for example, so, I try to to make questions according of the according to the activity of this person. Okay, but no, but when I ask you this question, is this? When I ask you what traits do you look for in a conversation partner, what I mean is this: what characteristics does a person? Well, what characteristics must a person have to be a good conversation partner for you, somebody with whom you are going to enjoy the conversation. There are some people, there are certain people that you like to talk with, and there are certain people that you have to talk to, right? So tell me, the ones that you like to talk to, which characteristics do they have that makes it a, an attractive conversation partner for you? I like to talk to people who, I, I don't have to say they're old, but they're not young people because they have lived so many things that, and they know so many things that you can always learn from them. Okay, you see. For example, so with you, young people, you, you have wisdom. to start talking and, and, and not all of them like to talk. Yeah, but, you're right. But, mm -hmm, but how do you say, I don't, I don't want to say old people. Okay, and tell me about your favorite type of conversations. I like to talk about plants, for example, mm. to talk about music, okay. and to talk about kids. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right, you're a mom, that's normal. Okay, <laughs> you see guys, that's what I want you to do, to have a conversation with the questions that I just gave you. Now, you're going to be doing that working in small groups. But now I'm going to switch the groups a little bit, okay? So groups are recreated. And let me check it out. 
Hold on. Okay, please jump in. You have exactly seven minutes for this activity. Oh, Maria Alejandra, she doesn't like to talk to no one, you know? It's like <laughs> that. Teacher, no. Then you told me I don't like talking to Marcos, you told me. Remember <laughs> last class? Marcos was like, what? <laughs> hey, you're missing someone here. Francisco is supposed to be here. I'll go check. Okay, let's see, guys. Who likes to talk? Jacqueline. Jacqueline says she doesn't like to talk to nobody. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. And Jose oh. Rivas says, eh, same, likewise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, teacher, but, but I'm not sure. We have to answer the questions or? Yeah, yeah. Or you can just have a, a regular conversation related to those questions. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. How can I start? Well, in, 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 a common topic. Huh? The A group. <laughs> Ada, 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 yeah. People that just said, do you like, I don't know, ice cream? Hmm? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you like ice uh, cream, Liliana? Yeah. 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 Uh, what I say, monosyllables, teacher. <laughs> Those are just no questions. Oh, okay. Yeah, monosyllables. Yeah. Monosyllables, yeah. When they, they, they answer with, with only monosyllables, they conversation. Yeah. Also remember me, that. Yeah. Yeah, also remember that uh, it depends on the type of conversation you're having. Like, uh, imagine yeah. that uh, when you are like in a, in a specific or controlled context, like you are in a training or stuff like that, of course, you got a lot of to talk about. But what about if we are sitting, uh, I don't know, on a bench waiting for someone, the other person is right there, what do you do? Nowadays it's easy, right? Everybody gets into their phone and don't look to no one. Yeah. But, but there are some people who like to have conversation. Yeah, I remember when I met my best friend, I I did uh, hear this the this question. What's your favorite? No, do you like uh, pop music? I remember that I asked her, asked, I, I did that question to her and she was, Yes, and you know I like to. She start talking a lot, so, so that, that, that the worked. other person yeah. was very outgoing. Yeah, absolutely. You have uh, chemi chemical. <laughs> yeah, chemistry. Of Chem course, there's there's people that the first two words you don't like them. That happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, like with. Like with this lady, uh, Heidi, you know, oh, 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 she's here. I'm kidding, <laughs> Heidi. I'm kidding. Heidi's well, like, what? What's up? Oh my God. <laughs> Exists an, an idiom for similar to tenemos química. Yeah, there's chemistry. I mean, yeah, they use the, the, the liquor phrase. Yeah, there's chemistry. Besides, remember, for some people, it's pretty easy to make a conversation with anybody. There's people who yeah. like to talk and listen to. There's some people that uh, gets bored. I mean, that happens. Some people, they get bored. 
Mm -hmm. I am not kind of that person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. that happens to me a lot. There's some people that, man, they love talking. And I'm like, man, I don't want you to talk to me in my mind. <laughs> okay. but yeah, but that happens. I mean, um, it depends also in the, in the, as I was telling the other group, also depends on the context. Because like if you are in a training, uh, like if you are on the on the queue in the bank, it's easy, right? You start complaining like, man, this is taking too long. I'm desperate. It's easy, right? Yeah. What about if the same goes like if you're in the supermarket and you're on the line and somebody starts talking, it's easy. Man, everything is expensive right now. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. those, those contexts are easy to talk about. Like if yeah. you are... And uh, there's another context that is easy sometimes and sometimes not that easy at the doctor. Mm, yeah. Depending on what you're going for, right? Yeah. Or what do you feel? <laughs> yeah, or how do you feel if you're like, man, I want to <laughs> die here, please. <laughs> yes. Another person try to talk to you. Yeah, so. and there are some people that they really avoid having conversations. Like in my case, when I'm in the mood, I like to talk. If not, you will see me with a book reading. Yeah. Well, I let you talk. Okay, okay. So, okay. Uh, what is your favorite documentation? Mm -hmm. Uh, I in my case, um, it is my easy to talk to someone, and um, for the experience, uh, the last year, or uh, oh, it's a topic. Is a topic in in common, in co common. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and in the given conversation department, and I don't know, it's a. <laughs> Oh. Come on, guys, I got you having conversation, talking about conversations, and you are very quiet. <laughs> no. No, no, teacher. Uh, 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 I, I, we're about to, to go to the next question. What do you talk about? Uh, what Tell about your favorite type of conversation. That's the next question. Food. We're about to. Food, yes, food. I like to taste a different food or different restaurant. <laughs> That's a good topic for you. Yes, it's a good topic. Or different places to a tourist, tourist or yeah, yeah. A tourist places. Touristic. A touristic places. Touristic. And the people feedback for the experience. And I like because you try to know the, the place or like this. Yes, yes, yes. I like to for me the shoes. <laughs> mm -hmm. In my yeah. case, uh, uh, the, the place that I can visit in El Salvador is also a good topic, a good topic in a conversation because I take notes in what places I can I can go with my family or places uh, that I don't know and it's, it's very interesting to do tourism in our country and sometimes people uh, tell me about that not that popular places but and uh, that places are very interesting to see. 
Uh -huh. Okay, guys, let's go back. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Everybody's coming back in six, four, five, three, two, right now. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So Roxana, tell me, what do you like to talk about? What's your favorite topic for a conversation? Well, for me, the best topic for um, a conversation is when uh when we are talking about travels, dreams, goals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You travel and a lot, not, that's why. Nothing about work, you know, about uh, responsibilities, doubts, okay. no. Okay, tell me, Roxana, how many times have you traveled out of the country this year? Well, this year uh, I have uh, traveled uh, twice, and maybe the rest of the year I will travel once at the end. Once I don't more. know. Okay, yeah. so you've gone to Mexico, San Francisco. Where do you want to go at the end of the year? Well, I try to go to New York. But Again, you sure. went last year. Yeah, I, I visited New York. New York. Yeah, I love New York and I visited around, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 times because I just um, arrived for, uh, when I have, yeah. when I have, yeah, you got a connected flight. Yeah, when I have connection, I usually visit New York for a couple of hours. Yeah, it's a whole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that thing is a big, it's huge. Thank you, Roxana. Okay. Let's see, Fernando, what about you? Yes, teacher. Tell me, what do you like to talk about? What's your favorite conversation topic? Um, maybe for easy conversation, I choose sports or reading okay what about for a deep conversation for what a deep conversation a very more complex i mean something that really excites you talking about a deep conversation i don't follow teacher sorry something that really excites you to talk about something that is very exciting for you oh very exciting for me reading teacher <laughs> Okay. My favorite Oops. book, my favorite saga, or uh, in another occasion, my favorite series. Okay. These are topics. Excellent. Thank you very much. Well, guys, believe it or not, it's almost time. Let me get the attendance again. Well, true tonight. That's excellent. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Ada. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Mestalí Mendez Torres. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. 
José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto, Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you. Rebeca Yasmin Montarosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Ok, guys. Uh, just to remind you before you leave, please work in the platform. We need to finish that thing this week. Okay, so some of you have a lot of work to do. Let me know if I can help you with something. Have a good night. Thank you for being here. And I expect to see you, all of you, tomorrow. Be early, okay? Bye-bye. Good, good, good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Okay, let's see. We're going to to yeah, anyway. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. check it out. Okay. Okay, my summer vacations. Please, do you have it in front of you? Yeah. Do you have it handy? Okay. Yeah. Read it for me. My summer vacations. I had a lot of fun on my vacations. I spent most of the time with my family. On Thursday morning, I went to the hospital to a blood donation for a friend because he's going to have surgery at the end of the month. So, for a friend, coma. Okay. Friend, coma. Okay. Because he's going to have surgery at the end of the month. Period. Okay. So, coma. So, period. So, coma. I went with my brother, my father, and my sister-in-law. Period. Yes. Friday. Uh -huh. when, um, mm. Mm -hmm. That don't look good. <laughs> Friday. Mm. On Friday. No, my dear. No. Friday. I, on Friday. Yes. On Friday, I, I went. I went. Both things. On Friday, I went. Okay, sorry. On Friday, I went. Okay, now. Trip is not necessary. You got two options, okay? Okay. Your options are the following ones. You can say, uh, on Friday, I took a trip. Okay. Got it? Yep. You can say, on Friday, I took a trip. Or you can say, on Friday, I went to Guatemala. Just like that. Okay. This is, I delete trip. I stayed just with Guatemala. I want to okay. them the mala. Okay. With my family, it was very different and special for me because I never have been out of my country on Holy okay. Friday. I'm so sorry. I have never had had yes. And you know because what? You are expressing I... something that happened before something else happened. What is the something else? I have never traveled, but then I did. Okay. Uh huh. And you know what? I I actually I wrote this in that way, but I doubt, and I think mm. so. I change <laughs> the the that, but I I already put 
had never been. So I was right. I had never been. Okay. I have never been. I have had H A D, right? Yes, had. I have never been out of my, of my country, country on Holy Friday since I have memory. <laughs> okay. So, period. We arrived in Guatemala at eight o'clock at 8 a.m. Yeah, and had cool. breakfast. Yes. After that, we visited the Ark of Santa Catalina. Or I can put the... I can, no, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, Ark of Santa Catalina. Yeah. And El Cerro de la Cruz. Oh, but it's with capitals because it's a given name. You're referring ah, to a specific Arc. place. In Ark, right? Yep. Okay. I'm going to change that. Ark. Capital. Okay. And El Cerro de la Cruz. At noon, we went to Cayala City to have lunch and walk. Yes. We take photos and some videos. We took. We, we took. Oh. We took. We took. Okay. We took in past. And some videos. We arrived at home at 9 p.m. And as soon as I entered to my home, I just changed my clothes, washed my face, jumped to my bed, and fell asleep. Okay, On just Saturday. Just, just a mm -hmm. second. Okay. Just a second. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, sorry. No, don't worry. So, no, I fell asleep. On Saturday, I went to Zacateco Luca to my uncle's wedding. It was a very romantic one. The place was full of flowers and very beautiful details. I wore a green dress and black heels. I made a very okay, natural- Okay, 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 I'm okay. sorry. Let's go back a little bit. Okay, so the- uh, On Saturday, I went to, to Zacateco Luca to my uncle's wedding, comma. It was- Okay. It was, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it was a very romantic one, comma. Okay, mm -hmm. in this case, hmm, comma, and the play, no, 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 it's okay. Let's see. Semicolon. You know, I... Semicolon, instead of after one, instead of comma, use semicolon. Okay. okay semicolon, okay. Mm, the place was full of flowers and very beautiful details. Period. I finished that, that idea. Yeah. I wore a green dress and black heels. Uh, I made a very natural makeup and waves in my hair. Okay. The party I ended. Made. No, 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 no. I made, no. I made I, my makeup very natural. Okay. I made my makeup very natural. My makeup very natural. Yep. And in this case, it's okay to say in waves in my hair, but in this case, it would be most appropriate and some waves in my oh, hair. Okay. 
Yeah, it reads better. My hair, okay, period. The party ended at 9 p.m. because it started early at noon. And on Sunday, I just stayed home with my family and rest. Okay, at noon. Mm -hmm. uh, comma. And on Sunday. Okay. I just stayed home with my family just and rested. Home with my rested and yeah, because it's a verb. There's a past. 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 Okay. okay. That would be all. Okay. Now, if you notice, it's a little, a little bit different. Some little difference. Yeah. But if you read it again, you will notice that it's easier to read. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, teacher. No, but it's good. I'm so okay. sorry to, to make it too long for you. No, 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 don't worry. I'm very okay. thankful with you for helping no. me. Thanks to you, thanks to you. Have a good night, enjoy you. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Okay, and we are finished.